Hello Matt, and may the 4th be with you. I'm sure you don't really care a lot about Star Wars, but anyway, happy Star Wars Day. Um, yeah, anyway. Um, it has been, uh, last Friday, three years since I started weekday vlogs, which is my first, like, true... one of my first true vlogging series. I'll spare you any clips, but I mean, I don't really mind it that much, but I mean, three years it's been since I did those. Three years! And I remember, like, everyone was, like, all over the night. I had so many views on those videos, and, like, it felt, like, so good that I was getting my channel back going. And, yeah, it was three years ago. I can't believe it. This time has gone by so quickly. I mean, three years ago, um, Liverpool were on the verge of winning the Premier League with Luis Suarez. That seems so long ago now. <laughs> uh, three years ago, I was doing my GCSEs. Yeah, three years ago, I didn't have a job. Three years ago, I didn't even know I'd be driving. I mean, just think about that, and three years ago, um, you were thinking about starting Super Saturday vlogs, and they're still st still going, so, yeah, these are pretty decent. Anyway, uh, FMP, you said you asked how it's going. <laughs> uh, okay, right, I have got a really good script, I think. The problem is, um, we've got so much other work to be doing. It's actually ridiculous. For the entirety of, like, the first term of 2017, uh, currently we're in the third, but the first term, um, half term, we had only pre-production time. That's all we did, and we did pretty well at it. However, by the second term, and now, and now, we have got assignments up the arse, literally. Assignments left, right, and centre. I've got, like, three due in for next week. So, yeah, I've got to do those. Um, or is it the week after? Oh, well, either way. So, the problem is, I'm going to have to really find time to shoot. <laughs> um, it's a little bit tough. Um, but, yeah, if I actually do make it, which I'm guaranteeing I will. Um, I mean, it'd be a bit stupid if I don't. Uh, but if I... Um, it should be good. But that's my vision of it. I envision that it's going to be good. I don't know it's going to be good, if you know what I mean. Um, but, yeah. Um, and to do with that, my question to you is uh, about... You said you had to do a project for this year, like a final project for this year. I'm wondering, uh, what is it, basically? That's what I'm wondering, just what is it? And can you tell us what it is? And what it's going to be? And if it's an individual project? Yeah, just tell us what it is. Anyway, uh, in other news, I can't think of a lot that's really happened in the last week. So let's just go get straight on into the review. All right, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, um, I got a chance to see in a cinema which wasn't that full. That's the glory of having weekdays off when you can go to a new movie and it's um, the cinema's like only got like a bit, about like nine other people in. Like it's brilliant. I mean. Um, what movie was, it was, um, Force Awakens, yeah, where the movie the cinema was full, it was full, uh, <laughs> so it's really nice to see a relatively new movie that is um, full. Obviously, though, you've came here full of reviews, so Guardians of the Galaxy 2, um, it, shock it, to be honest, it doesn't have too many follow-ups from the first one, the story really involves, um, something, a line from the first one about, Peter Quill slash Star Lord's father being sort of a weird gallivanter by Yondu, um, and this this movie explores who his father is, um, and he reveals himself to be pretty much a god, played by Kurt Russell, who introduces himself to Chris Pratt. He's a really nice guy, um, and has plans for like um, how he's going to make the world a better place, or the universe a better place, the galaxy a better place. Um, and in the meantime, the Guardians, who are all together, minus big group, a plus baby group, who is extremely cute, come on, <laughs> um, are outrunning um, some kind of sovereign who they stole, who they were protecting um, some batteries for, and then they ended up stealing them, and then they're pretty much outlawed from their systems. The whole movie pretty much exists of them trying to get them. Then there's Yondu, who... Um, wants to, he was hired by them to get them as well, however he ends up um, becoming friends with 
them again. And then there's um, Nebula, who's back, who um, wants to get revenge on Gamora, which is, you know, that's a pretty decent story to get yourself going. Um, so character-wise, I'd say the five Guardians um probably all the same have a little bit toned down i mean the best part of the first one was by far the five main characters um and how they interact with each other they're all flawless great comedy great drama great um relationships just brilliant have unfortunately in this one it really is toned down and uh, there's not there's not really much chemistry between any of them really like, there's not much that really develops between um, Peter Quill and Gamora, which is the really big one of the first movie. Are they going to get together or are they not? And then in this one, it's sort of a few lines, and then not really. Um, but then, no, there's Yondu, who I think Jeremy Johns put it best. He is the best thing about this movie. If you remember Yondu from the first one, he was that um, sort of uh, bounty hunter who... Um, adopted uh, Peter at a very wow motorbike. He adopted Peter at like a young age and um, had him in his merry men. Uh, but he's a bad guy. He wants money more than anything. However, for a series of um, mis mishaps and misadventures, he ends up joining Guardians of the Galaxy reluctantly, but he ends up really accepting him. And he is the one whose everyone's chemistry is built off. Great chemistry with Rocket. Great chemistry with um, Peter Quill when it's there, and yeah, great chemistry with everyone. I think he is the best thing about the movie. Um, there are a ton of characters, man. And then I just want to mention Nebula, a bit disappointing. I expected a lot more from her character, how um, she's built up as like the last remnant of the plot of the first movie, how she doesn't do much in this one. And then you have Kurt Russell playing Peter Quill's father, Ego, is pretty much a god. Um, who created a physical form, he's actually a planet or something, I don't know. Uh, makes more sense to the fifth element, but yeah. Um, he basically is a god who um, has a few secrets. He is a really deep character, I think. I think him and Peter's relations are another highlight of the movie. They do seem really um, like father and son bonding, um, which is good. Um, However, obviously, by the end of the movie, maybe something's changed. Which I think was, I think, does make the story a bit deeper than the first. I think the first one, the story um, happened around the main characters. This one, it affects the main, well, the main character, not the characters. Um, and Yondu, so, yeah. I um, think you can get that Yondu's the best part of the movie. However, though, Guardians of the Galaxy, even though it's... Probably the best thing about the first one was the characters. Another really good thing was the sense of humour and the action. And it's back in droves here. Like, the action scenes are really creatively well done. Um, at the beginning, they're in um, an sort of exploding asteroid field, which I was, I was thinking, hey, they're going the Empire Strikes Back route. But then, no, they instead end up like in an exploding asteroid field, which makes it just the stakes are higher. Then there's a scene in which Rocket just lays a load of traps for Yondu's men, and they all um, have fun with that. And then there's another action scene on Yondu's ship, which is really creative. Yondu and Rocket and um, Baby Group working together, it's really good. And then the last action scene in the heart of Ego's planet, it's just pitch perfect with the action and the comedy not as good as the first but still there and the music taste as well it's all still there um so yeah you can probably tell it is a it is quite a good sequel however there is one complaint i have which i feel is a bit trivial but i yeah it does sort of drag the movie down a little bit for me the first movie is barely mentioned now of course i don't really mind it, however the first one did have um, the memorability and Nebula's storyline was going somewhere in the first movie, didn't really go there in this one. Um, then there's the Nova Corps, which is like sort of the beating heart of the galaxy, which is, wasn't even mentioned I don't think, and then you had Glenn Close's and John C. Riley's characters who were really good in the first one, but they weren't in this one. It was well, really disappointing. And then, uh, and then, if really the whole plot of the first movie is barely mentioned, like there was one mention to Infinity Stone, and that's it. 
Like, I mean, I know not a lot of sequels follow on from the first one directly if they're like this. I mean, Dark Knight didn't really follow on from Batman Begins too much, and Empire Strikes Back didn't really follow on from A New Hope that much. But, I mean, at least they had some mentions to the first one. I mean, the first one may as well not really have even existed. You can jump into this one, which to some people may be a good thing, but you need that character development, which is in the first movie, to have this one. And, to, like... Yeah, it, you do sort of need to see the first one, and there's not really a lot carrying over from the first one to the second one, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, but overall, it's a lot of fun. Like, you can't deny that, and that's what the movie does. The first one was very fun, this one's very fun, and if you analyse it too much, you just seem like a bit of a... bit of a critic, won't you? So, it's a very, very, very good movie, simply for enjoyability's sake. And sometimes you just got to watch those movies just for escapism rather than just analysing them to death. Alright, so thanks for watching the vlog, Matt. I would probably recommend Guardians of the Galaxy 2 if you liked the first one. And thanks for watching the vlog, and I will see you on the return of the sixth.